हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स सॉल्व दिस तेवनेंस थ्योरम प्रॉब्लम सी हियर प्रॉब्लम नंबर फाइव जीरो एट वन इज आस्किंग फॉर यूज तेवनेंस थ्योरम टू फाइंड आई नॉट इन द नेटवर्क इन द फिगर बिलो ब्रेक द नेटवर्क इट द टू किलो ऑम रजिस्टर कंटेनिंग आई नॉट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बाय सीइंग दिस सर्किट वी कैन टेल this circuit is having both dependent and independent energy sources this and this is a uh, independent energy source and this is a dependent energy source now let us calculate the things uh, which is asked to be thevenin's voltage thevenin's resistant and i not so first let's open circuit the load load is 2 kilo ohm resistor let's open circuit this so which is uh, drawing here 2 volts this is 8 kilo ohm this is 3 kilo ohm here it is 4 kilo ohm resistance here a dependent voltage source is there which is 2 vx here it is vx and here it is plus 9 volt so this is the open circuit voltage or thevenin's voltage so now uh, let us calculate for vth value here so clearly here this is 8 kilo ohm resistance so let's write node equation here let's say this is node 1 but voltage is vth here so uh, by writing nodal equations there vth minus 9 this divided by 8 kilo ohm plus vth now this direction minus 2 volts because this this node voltage is 2 volt or 4 kilo ohm resistor equivalent to zero so by solving this simple equation vth minus 9 plus 2 vth minus 4 equals to zero so it is 3 vth is equals to 13 vth is 13 by 3 volts so here we got our first answer v thevenin's voltage is 13 by 3 volts now let's solve rth to solve rth in a circuit where both the independent and dependent voltage sources are present the procedure is to calculate rth it is vth by isc isc is nothing but short circuited current short circuited current now let's short circuit this 2 2 kilo ohm resistance short it so let's redraw the circuit now this is 2 volts this is 8 this is 3 kilo ohm this is 4 kilo ohm here it is the dependent voltage source 2 vx here it is the 8 kilo ohm resistor here it is uh, plus 9 volt so let's short circuit now so we need to calculate this short circuited current so let's say this is vx th sorry it is already given it is vx 8 kilo ohm 4 kilo ohm 3 kilo ohm let's check let's mark the uh, node voltages this is v1 v2 v3 clearly v1 is equals to 2 volts v1 minus v2 is vx and v3 minus v2 is 2 vx and v3 is 9 volts as this is v3 
all these voltages are with respect to this ground v3 is nothing but 9 volts clearly we have written here v1 is 2 volts clearly we have written here and v1 minus v2 is vx and v2 v2 minus sorry v3 minus v2 which is 2 vx which is highlighted here so now by solving these equations by solving clearly vx is equals to 7 volts and this is not at all required actually but isc is by writing kcl here isc is nothing but v1 by 4 kilo ohm plus v3 by 8 kilo ohm because here 8 kilo ohm resistor and 9 volt source are parallel both are because so, uh, one end of 8 kilo ohm resistor is connected to positive end of 9 volt source and second end of the 8 kilo ohm uh, resistor is connected to negative end of the 9 volt source so clearly v1 we know v1 is 2 volts 2, by 2 over 4 v3 is 9 volt 9 over 8 so clearly it is 13 by 8 milliamperes so now as we know rth is nothing but vth by isc vth is nothing but 13 by 3 or isc is nothing but 13 by 8 so clearly now 8 by 3 kilo ohm uh, this is rth now what is the third thing that is asked a vth is nothing but 13 by 3 rth is nothing but 13 by 8 now we need to calculate i naught how to calculate i naught i naught just simply replace the left side uh, part of this circuit with the thevenin's equivalent thevenin's equivalent is vth is 13 by 3 RTH is uh, 13 by 8 and here it is uh, sorry RTH is uh, 8 by 3 kilo ohm 8 by 3 kilo ohm here it is 2 kilo ohm now we need to calculate I naught so I naught is simply 13 by 3 over 8 over 3 plus 2 kilo ohm so clearly it is 13 over 14 milliamperes so i naught is equal to 13 over 14 milliamperes uh, this is the final answer that we are looking for so by doing this uh, method we can ca uh, we can calculate equivalent current in any circuit using Thevenin's theorem. Thank you.